Hey guys! <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to the crew. And if you're back, I mess with you. So I know you're like, what is she doing here? You're just like a slacker. Like, get your stuff and get out. But I come bearing gifts. I have my green notebook. I have a few things to say. Um, just a few morsels. So a few gems, if you will, of advice for everyone entering 2020. And it's just going to be 19 things I learned in my very tumultuous 2019. And I feel like it's this trend where it's like, as soon as you get um, to December of whatever year you're in, you're kind of like, oh, that was terrible. Oh, that was trash. Like, what is this, honey? You're just feeling like, oh, I'm ready to cut everybody off. And that's really not true for me. I had really good days and really bad days, highs and lows, you know, but we're going to get into that. Um, this top is kind of mm, looking like my skin tone. So I don't want any problems with the Lawrence clan. So I'm going to go ahead and change and be back. Okay. So we're back. Um, a few wrinkles in the shirt. I really think it's okay. You don't have to do the most. No, I'm gonna change it actually. Mm. Okay. Ew, products in the screen. No thanks. All right, this is more of a fresh vibe for me. Um, I don't know, I think I'm just gonna roll with it. Okay, so let's just jump right in. So I've been feeling in this social media rut lately Hence the reason I haven't been posting. I feel like my channel has been underperforming and it just went through this like major shift. And honestly, for someone who's like still a really small YouTuber, it was scary for me coming off of like this big growth spurt, I guess you could say. And then two, I just felt like I saw myself getting consumed in these numbers that control my life apparently um just like views or subscriber count things like that it was really scaring me to the point where on thanksgiving break i woke up thanksgiving morning not thinking like oh like i get a day off from school or oh i get to spend time with my family because i was in texas um but instead i woke up thinking i have to post people are gonna forget about me and i've been slacking i've been going ghost um just almost as if that was the only thing that was important which is not true i would really say that this mist is great um just got it today no all jokes aside number one thing i learned in 2019 was to don't rush ahead trying to keep up with this like digital illusion other people have this mirage of things on instagram it's not true it's not real because you trying to keep up with something that's unattainable could result in you missing out on your blessings i think trying to do everything on my own and being on this continual grind to get it how i live and everything um it was really stunting my creative growth and i just wasn't operating like at my highest potential if that makes sense so i had to take a minute and step back and i was like you know i'm placing too much value on these views and how other people see me and how many people are seeing me than the lives i do impact in my actual content and that's how you have to look at life you almost have to think of it in terms of youtube don't place value on you know your popularity or how many people are seeing you i think it's about asking yourself like are you making good content though are you proud of the videos that you're putting out because that's one of the only things that really matters is if you love what you do and I do. Discipline and focus is important to reach your goals, but what reigns all over all of that is your priorities. I could tell you stick to the plan all day long. I could tell you to focus on your goals all day long, but what if it's the wrong plan? I mean, any plan without God, any plan when you're trying to do something on your own is destined to fail. So I think, just think about your priorities. Think about the reason why you're doing what you're doing. The next thing I learned, number two, does this throw you off, guys? I don't care. It's gonna have to do. Number two is to be patient with your hair just because I know what it's like, okay? I have really good days and I have really bad days. I thought I found some products that work. No, I didn't. Because curly hair is so sporadic and it's always changing. It's like, you can have your hair, you can do it one day and it'll never look like that again. Believe me, I tried, I tried. As a person who's then showed up to school looking extra hilarious 
on Monday and Tuesday and then the rest of the week it was like untouchable like give me volume give me curls give me definition give me shine gloss all of that um I can definitely say to don't sweat the small stuff because it's really I mean hair is hair and you do the best that you can but if you're always concerned about it like trying to grow your hair super long down to your butt or you know always trying to like make it look nice I just feel like it started doing what I wanted it to do when I just left it alone like when I just had my routine stuck to it I didn't complain or try to manipulate it too much just came to terms that you know I'm not gonna look like a supermodel all the time and that was a hard thing to come to you know what I mean I'm looking in the mirror I'm thinking wow give me face and then other times I'm like, disgrace. I'm just kidding, I didn't say that by myself. I would just say, if you have heat damage and you're transitioning, get your routine and stick to it. Don't stress, don't worry, cause it's only gonna make it worse. The third thing that I learned this year was to stop trying to act so cool, okay? Listen, you ever go into a party or whatever and you're just trying to act like all mysterious and you're like, Oh my god what do they think of me what do they think of me what do i do what do i say well how do i act like do i look okay things like that you know you're overthinking it okay as an overthinker i know the feeling and it doesn't feel good i feel like no greatest friendship or love story ever started out with someone pretending to be something that they're not and hey like i get it you don't want to embarrass yourself in front of the potential of your life of course not but i think it's important to be present oftentimes like you get stuck in your head about those things and you're talking but you're not saying anything be proud of your personality be proud of who you are because not everybody's gonna like you but when you're hiding behind a mask you're not gonna attract the people who are meant to be in your life I personally feel like that again it's a very big claim if you would like to argue take it somewhere else number four this is a big one guys like it's crazy I would say trust your gut I was feeling really weird about a few people in my life and I couldn't really like put my finger on what it was and I didn't know what was wrong it was like my spirit was trying to tell me something and I really couldn't figure out what it was. I would just get this like really weird feeling in my gut. For a while, I just kind of listened to myself finally. It's not one of those situations where, you know, you're trying to throw shade at someone or like you have beef or anything because like that's not the case at all. I just feel like you should listen to yourself because your gut always knows what's up and it's usually the first person to know so don't try to like ignore any like red flags whatever if you're in a relationship and you just feel like something's off act on it i would just say take a leap of faith and trust yourself because you can get in really bad situations if you're getting weird vibes it's for a reason even if you don't find out until like a month two months a year after trust yourself Number five, I would say believe in yourself even when nobody else does. And I know that sounds really corny and cheesy and because it's true. You ever realize why these cliches are cliches is because it's true. And so many people have said it over and over and over again, but we're just not getting it. This year was my first year running track and I had people before I started, they doubted me so hard, y'all. They were like, you're just a girly girl like I can't see you doing that you don't even know how to run like it's gonna be bad and you know what I proved them wrong because I went I put my mind to it and even when nobody was on my side and I was kind of standing alone I knew this is something that I wanted to do and I was sure of it so I acted on it and you know I do training now and the season's coming back up and I'm serious about it so that just proved to show you that don't let other people's fears and you know worries project onto you just because they're giving you advice does not mean you have to take it they're suggestions not demands and don't let anybody who has never built anything give you constructive criticism number six i think um budget your spending budget your spending because summer 19 i was running up a check i acted like I, I didn't know what a limit was. I was at the mall like every weekend, every day. I was, I was like, this is cute, put it in a bag. You want this? I'm gonna get it for you. Yes, 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 boom, 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 Oprah. Like, and then I was broke. All of July, your girl had pennies. Your girl tried to get a job, they said, 
no thank you. It was rough, you know what I mean? And I feel like from that time, I never wanted to be in that position again, even as a 16 year old. So I really started to budget my money and when I started making more and I went back to um, my regular job, um, I was just more careful about it. Now I know how to save, shout out to my sister Ashley. But it's just something that's so slept on. People like to just spend and spend and spend because they don't wanna have old things or they wanna keep up appearances. But I honestly think if you can't buy it twice, you shouldn't buy it once. As soon as I saved up enough money for my camera, I knew not to purchase it yet because then I would have nothing. Again, and being that tight, position that really sucks trying to depend on other people i like to be independent and that means getting my own money and saving it number seven i'm sorry y'all i gotta focus i gotta be very sparing with this because i don't want to look like a clown you know blush like it's a love-hate relationship because i love it but i always put too much see I would say being single does not kill you. Well, let me rephrase. Being 100% single, not even, not even a man in sight. Bird box, I can't see anything. I'm not flirting with anyone. I'm not talking to anyone. And it's been great. There's some times where I'm like, hmm, I'm kind of bored or, oh, like I kind of got a crush or something. But honestly, if you're not supposed to be talking to anyone right now, God is going to make that apparent in your relationship that you do try to take on on your own. Because I feel like when you're just constantly trying to have somebody on your side so you don't feel lonely or just having someone romantic because you don't want to be bored, it's just bound to not work out. You know, it's bound to like have a nasty ending. For me, I like to keep my love life really private, um, mainly because it's non-existent. <laughs> And I used to be really upset about that because I always wanted to have a boyfriend and I always wanted to go on dates and everything. But it's overrated, especially at this age. You don't even know, or let me rephrase, I don't even know what I want yet. I know that I want my future relationship to be on a foundation of God. I know I want him to be a believer. I, know I want him to be friends with me first before anything. Um, this is Carter. No, this, that's not my name. This is not my name. It's Dre. His name is Dre. Yes. That's what he... <laughs> Just, uh, uh, don't don't His... make fun of me. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. His name is Dre, guys. He's a new vlogger in town. Actually... Say what's up, Dre. Say what's popping. What's popping, yo? So I know it's going to take a while to, like find someone who meets all my requirements or at least some of them i want to find someone who has potential and we can grow together and i just don't foresee that happening in my near future so i'm okay with that and i don't want to run around with little boys who only fill my joy and happiness temporarily that sounds really harsh but that's just where i am at a point in your life you just get fed up with the little the cute little trinkets I'm gonna call him a trinket, okay? I don't want that. So I will be by myself until I find a crown jewel. Number eight, I would just say you're allowed to change your mind. I feel like we all grow because we go through different things and experiences and you shouldn't feel like you have to maintain the same personality or the same person um, that you were just to make somebody else like comfortable or make you feel familiar or whatever. I just feel like we're holding ourselves back if we don't allow change into our lives. Number 10. Girl, wait. Number nine, don't go back to what hurts you when the opportunity presents itself because honestly, it's a test. It's a test to see if you really want what you ask God for. I... I know how it feels, okay? It's like, oh, you know, we I found my way back to this, you know, this thing, this person, this whatever. Um, we should totally be together. The universe is just telling me. Sometimes it's a trick. Sometimes you know better. And sometimes you just get tired of your own crap that you stop putting up with it. Like me, I stopped putting up with the old Rachel and I said, listen, you need to calm down. You need to know 
that if you're going to be complaining about something and then run right back to it, it's your fault. Number 10, I would say you really have everything you need for right now, this exact moment in your life. Um, as a person who loves to shop, a person who loves to just elevate, I always want to be having something. That's like one of my weaknesses is, you know, I, oh, I need this or I need this to do that. And I see that with a lot of people trying to start YouTube. They feel like they need like 4K camera and like a tripod and a backdrop and all that stuff. And it's great. But honestly, I feel like sometimes we make excuses for ourselves that way. And just know that you can make do with what you have and still feel great. You don't need to have a bunch of money to look good. Just go with the flow. Stop stressing about what you have and what other people have because the only plate you should be looking at is your own. I had this problem so many times. I would go on YouTube and be like, oh, I wish I lived there or I wish I had that. Like, I need to go shopping. And like, yeah, it's great to like get inspiration from other people, but don't think of yourself any less just because you don't have the same amount of material goods. Okay, we're about to be on to our hair. I know at the beginning of the video, you were like, this is the best you got. No, <laughs> but it's not, boo. I have aphigy, I have some Shea Moisture. I'm just ready to get it popping on you guys. So please stand by. Number 11, um, it's not really super motivational or inspiring. It's more of a truth for me, but I just learned that when things get really bad, it feels like everything gets bad. It feels like everything comes crashing down on you and it's multiple things hitting you at once that you can't handle. I know for me, I definitely felt that way um, towards the end of this year. Yeah, coming off like this amazing time in my YouTube channel and you know me making new friends and just feeling like okay finally I like belong somewhere. Things just really kind of took a toll for the worst. Or no, you know what? I'm gonna stop saying that. I'm gonna say things took a toll for the necessary because just some things had to happen. I had to like learn not to place so much value on views and I think that's what God told me. I think he said, hey boo, it's fun, but it's not everything and you're gonna learn today. So I did, that's what I did, I learned today. So I just ended up doing like the whole side in the bathroom because it's a lot of product going on. It looks great though, right? Hey curls. I know, I think, I think last video I had like all straight hair, yeah. But anyways, what was I talking about? I was listening to a song, I forgot which one it was, but it was just talking about how the past is a story we tell ourselves. And I thought that was so true. So I made that number 12 because honestly, when we look back, we only see the good. We kind of have selective vision, or if you've heard of like selective hearing, it's when you only hear or see what you want. And I feel like when we live in the past to where, oh, I wish I really went to this school, or I really wish I went to do that, or stayed with this person, um, I just learned that it's not as good as you were thinking it would be. And yeah, things may have been different if you took a different turn, but would it really be for the best? Number 13, I would say that it costs zero dollars to be a good person. I feel like there's just so many negative stigmas with being positive, if that makes sense. It's like if you're single and people are like, oh, like I hate a friendly female, like what? There's multiple things wrong with that statement from using the word female to thinking that a woman's main concern should be whether she's palatable enough for your taste or suitable enough for, you know, what you deem acceptable. Um, I just think it's like, it just annoys me so much. It's like, do I have to be standoffish, mean, and cover up my personality just so you are not insecure? I feel like being mean is so overrated and it's so bitter and sad when you see people like that. Number 14, I would say that I learned it costs to be the boss, okay? You're gonna have to make sacrifices to live out the dream, the life that you want. So it's hard, like when I have questions about like you know I guess just youtuber things and I don't really know who I can ask um, it's just hard to navigate what 
decisions I should make on my own and I just want to put that out there that I'm not a hundred percent on my own my sister Ashley has been on my team since day one number 15 I would say you need community but you need like the right type of community you need people who want to go in the same direction as you're going um, and just be equally yoked so I've been feeling pretty lonely lately um, I've just been asking God to like present people in my life like I can walk with and I can like talk about my faith with a lot um, because it hasn't been easy it's been a journey but I genuinely feel like something's coming and I don't even know it yet like I just feel so positive I'm really trying to like find the faith to keep going because I know God he sees my heart he sees my intentions and he hears my prayers number 16 I said judging people is ugly and being mean is overrated um I just touched on that so I mean just that's that why would you want to be in drama if you don't have to I genuinely feel like people who are in like excessive amounts of drama for no reason you know I know sometimes things happen okay jealousy be happening but for the most part you're stuck in sixth grade and you need to get out you need to go ahead and graduate so just be patient with your hair be patient with the prayers God is in the process of answering be patient with yourself you may not be able to do everything you want to do at the same time and sometimes you know it's a process I read this thing somewhere I forgot where it was but it stuck with me because I remember it was a long time ago I heard that it takes six months to build a Rolls Royce and it takes 72 hours to build a Toyota so I don't know about you but I'm not really pickup truck vibes you know I scream Lux so I'm fine with taking my time so this year I really learned that it's okay to take your time and it's okay to do things differently from other people just because you're not on the same exact track as someone um, it doesn't mean you're behind number 19 I think this is number 19 is this number 19 I would say is to keep God in your presence it's really easy when things are you know really popping off you're crazy you're getting all a's you have nothing to worry about your love life is perfect track life playing football your sport you know you're amazing the coaches are watching you getting recruited your hair is growing um you know your body looking great skin is looking great channel looking great you know it's it's easy to get wrapped up in these things and like you forget about the person who gave it all to you i would say to continue to stay in god's presence because you know, he's your commander in chief. You need your daily briefing.